When I was 14 years old, I was attacked by a man and on my way to school and he um, put his hand over my mouth and dragged me into a wooded empty lot and he threw me on the ground and got on top of me and with his hand over my mouth I was screaming the Hail Mary at the top of my lungs and all of a sudden he stopped and he jumped, he looked above my head and he got very frightened and looked very scared and he jumped up and he ran away and um, when I turned around, I saw nothing. There was nothing there. And um, later, when the cops came, we found out that this man was a serial rapist and serial killer. And of all the women that he attacked, I was the only one who he did not rape and did not kill. And while I was very grateful for that protection and for my life, I really struggled with a lot of anger and rage towards this man. And um, really struggled in forgiving him even though I knew I was called to forgive as a Christian. For many years, they were really hard years for me. I struggled with depression. I struggled with anger and rage. Um, I was miserable. I did not know joy and um, I just really, really struggled. I was constantly exhausted. And after many years, it took a while, but I was able to truly forgive him in my heart. And once I was able to do that, I experienced a lot of joy and a lot of peace and I experienced an incredible freedom. And I was no longer exhausted all the time. And so I just realized um, how confining and, and um, frustrating and exhausting um, not forgiving someone is and I knew that I didn't ever want to live like that again and I really believe that that experience helped prepare me for what happened to me later on. So one evening I went to my friend's house to drop off some keys and on my way a woman came up and um, grabbed my purse and my purse got caught in my arm and I think that she thought I was resisting and so um, as she was yanking my purse she had a gun and she shot me point blank with a nine millimeter and um, when I had been shot I actually didn't feel it I didn't fall to the ground and I was in shock and I put my hand up to my chest and when I took it away, I f had felt something wet and when I looked down, there was blood on my hand and that's when I knew that I had been shot. And she jumped in a car and took off and I started to run out in the middle of the street to get help and then I realized that I should probably get the license plate. So I ran after the car and um, as I was running towards it, I was thinking, how am I gonna re remember a license plate at a time like this? and all of a sudden the car stalled, so I was able to get close enough to see it. Well, when I got close enough to see the license plate, it ended up being a word, and I was really thankful, and I remember saying, thank you, Jesus, I can remember a word, and the word was shield. Well, the police showed up, and at that time I was struggling to breathe, and so I was rushed to the ER and when we got there um, we found out that the fragments of the bullet had hit my lungs and they collapsed and the bullet had actually traveled across my chest and it missed my heart by one centimeter and um, it tore my lungs but it was able to go around all my vital organs and so um, the surgeons and doctors there in the ER were shocked that I was even alive they said that I should have dropped dead the moment the bullet hit me And so after eight hours of surgery, I was um, in a hospital room and my family flew from Michigan to California to be with me. And um, after we visited for some time, my family members, some of them were hungry and so they went down to the cafeteria to get some food. And my sister stayed with me and she is my best friend, we're very close. And she sat on the edge of my bed and she asked me how I was doing. And I said, well, I'm in a lot of pain. And she was like, no, I don't mean physically, I mean spiritually and emotionally. 
and she asked me, have you thought about forgiving this girl? Are you very angry towards her? And I was really shocked that she asked me those questions and it dawned on me that I hadn't even thought about not forgiving this girl and I hadn't thought about being angry towards her. And I also realized that I didn't want to live in that anger and depression and all the horrible stuff that comes along with not forgiving someone and holding a grudge towards someone. And since that day, um, I have I haven't struggled with not forgiving her and I knew in my heart at that moment that I had forgiven her.